Watch. My Taj, you a fool, boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tiandra Oriana, and I'm going to show you how to bleach the knots and pluck your 99J frontal. I know that sometimes when you get the frontals, they'll be dark, like the knots will be dark just like that. So I'm going to show you the proper way on how to brighten those and make it lighter. First, I'm going to take some got to be spray to get the flyaways out of the way. This hair is from the company Estelle. I believe that's what it's called. It's an Amazon company. So I will leave all the information down below if y'all are interested in it. And next, I'm going to take my BW2 powder and my 40 developer. I feel like this powder works more. Usually when I bleach any of my wigs, I use the L'Oreal Blue Bleach. But when it comes to the burgundy hair, I feel like that doesn't cause the knots to lighten up like i had this similar wig beforehand and the knots did not lighten whatsoever like they were still kind of dark and red so i was looking at other people's videos and i noticed that a lot of people were using white bleach so that is a key tip i noticed when i used the white bleach it brightened the knots and they weren't dark anymore So that is my little test to make sure that it is good. Um, you want it at a toothpaste consistency, but a little thicker than that. If you're able to turn it upside down like you just seen, then you're good. You don't have to worry about it running through your lace. And I'm going to apply the bleach like so. I let the bleach sit on for about an hour long and that brightened the knots perfectly. So, you know, you can always look at it and then, you know, that'll determine if you want to take it off. But an hour worked for me. And yeah, you just see me applying the bleach on. I will be back when I got something else to say. Also, in the beginning, um, that first clip that y'all seen, that was after I initially co-washed it. And the color will leak, so that is just something to let y'all know. Even if y'all choose not to bleach the knots to this wig, still give it a co-wash because you don't want it to accidentally, you know, leak onto your shirt and your shirt is stained. Or if you install the wig and you're using like mousse or something, it'll like leak onto your skin. So just give it a co-wash and some cold water, you know, let the color run a little bit and you'll be good. This is after the second co-wash. As you can see, the color is still vibrant. So even co-washing it two times did nothing to the color. I'm gonna take my hot comb and smooth everything back before like when I first started plucking I like to pluck my hair when it was wet but I just don't like doing that anymore so I just use my hot comb and maybe use a little bit of like um chi infusion silk press or um 
like a wax stick you could use, you know, just to slick it back. But I like using the Chi Infusion just because the wax stick, I don't want it to be like stuck on that exact mold yet. So I'm gonna part out the pre-plug section slash baby hair section, whatever y'all wanna call it. And then I'm gonna take my hot comb just to press that out and make it flat as possible. I just find it easier to do that when I pluck. And I also use a white cloth. That's a white t-shirt. Um, you can use a white towel, whatever is just white and bright that you can see what you're doing. Because if it's on a regular canvas head, you might end up giving yourself like a little hole in your lace. And you can also see how much you're taking off because it is possible that you might pluck too much. So yeah, I'm just doing the pluck in motion like one two and then skip one two and then skip one two and skip and then I'm just gonna comb some of the hair back once I finish doing that I try not to stay in one spot too too long and yeah I hope that this is you know helpful in a way like I said in previous videos I'm a visual learner so I kind of don't know how to explain it but I hope that y'all are getting the gist of it So now um, I'm just going to uh, go in front of the hairline and pluck. Same motion that I was doing before, pluck, pluck, skip, pluck, pluck, skip. And um, I'm trying to get the boxy look out of the way because this hairline on the front tool is a little boxy. So by doing that, you do help that boxy look go away and it gives the illusion that the hairline is natural. Like I just mentioned a couple seconds ago, that is what I do to help the frontal not look so boxy because sometimes when you get your frontals, depending on who the you know company is, it might be a little boxy. So that's just what I do to prevent that look because that boxy look is not natural whatsoever. And don't do it too hard because if you do it too hard, you will risk the lace being ripped and you'll have like little holes in it. So be careful. So the key thing into getting a flat middle part or a flat side part is your hot comb and your wax stick. I'm using She Is Bomb, y'all just seen it. And you're going to want to just do this in sections. That is the best way to get in a flat part because nobody likes a Humpty Dumpty Bumpty looking wig. And this is going to help you make sure you don't get that. Hold up, y'all. Do y'all see that? Like, that hairline is looking very natural. After doing that method that I did with making sure that that boxy look is gone, that looks super natural. My canvas head looks like that hair is coming right out of its scalp. Scalpiana vibes. I just had to tell y'all that, like.
Okay, so at this part, this is where I'm going to start plucking my middle part. I usually don't do this, but the only reason why I am doing this is because the frontal is pretty dense. Like, it's thick behind the pre plucked part, if that makes sense. Like, y'all can see it's more red, so that means that it is more dense. It has more hair on the frontal, and that's fine. It's fine because I'm just going to pluck a little bit of it. Only a little bit in the front, not too much, not the whole line, because I don't want it to be stuck in the middle part. I know when you pluck your middle parts, you tend to have to leave it always in the middle part because you pulled a lot of the hair out. And I'm just going to do a little bit in the front and then cover the rest in some makeup or concealer. It's a close up of what the hairline is looking like. As you can see, the knots are not dark anymore. They're red. They look so good. It looks so natural and it doesn't look boxy anymore at all. And like I said, I just put some concealer on the middle part just because I didn't want to, you know, pluck too much of it off. But I hope that y'all found this video to be helpful and that y'all liked it and if so do not forget to like and subscribe if y'all are new here don't forget to follow me on my hair page and instagram and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys